Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, my video cut out because uh, my phone was about to die. But uh, anyways, back to the video, part two, <laughs> basically of my uh, uh, Warner Brothers pictures, Blu-ray, and DVD collection. If I can get this position right. Um, but uh, yeah, the story with Harry Potter and Deathly Hollows part one on Blu-ray. I was this close to picking up the Target exclusive Blu-ray, which had this, like, really cool, dope-ass slipcover to, to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. A dope-ass slipcover for it. And I was 96% close on getting that one. But then my gut was telling me to just get the regular Blu-ray standard. You've got the Half-Blood prints, Or, I should say... You're about to get the Half Blood Prince standard Blu ray, so just get the standard Blu ray for Deathly Hollows Part 1. And that's what I went with. So, I mean, this cover looks good too. You know, it looks pretty cool. Um, uh, I do like it. But sadly, though, this, is, this movie had the balls. Okay? This movie had the balls to kill off. One of my and everybody's favorite character in this franchise. And you all know who it is. Dobby the, the Free Elf, basically. How dare you, Warner Brothers? Like, I love y'all, but... How fucking dare you kill off one of the most precious, loyal, and best creatures in... The Harry Potter franchise. Dobby, bro. Fucking Dobby. And this is his last movie. Uh, rest in peace to this man, Dobby. You will be missed. And you are still a free elf to this day. Um, But, uh, yeah. Uh, what this movie was cool. This movie was cool when it came to... Um, what was I gonna say? Um, the whole uh, time traveling thing basically is pretty cool. Uh, the weakest part about this movie specifically is uh, the 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 final battle. It it takes place at Malfoy Manor, which is basically a fucking mansion of the Malfoys. The family of Malfoys, and it's like one of the worst final battles ever. I mean, you guys thought that the final battle from um Half Blood Prince was bad. There's barely a final battle sequence in that movie. You thought that final battle was bad? This one is worse. So. I don't know, but it is a good movie when it is a good movie at some parts. Like I said, the the time traveling shit is pretty cool. Um I mean I wouldn't say time travel, but it's more so of like uh where you need to go sort of thing. But it, it does get good when it gets to that part. Alright. Then we got the last one. Which oh <laughs> man, when I saw the previews for this one. I was, like, blown away of how many times I was refreshing the page to uh, see people's uh, reactions of when the tickets were sold for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2. Um, man, t the tickets sold like hotcakes for this one. <laughs> oh, I remember the exact day when I bought my ticket for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2 in 2011. Oh my goodness gracious, man. Uh, I've seen all the movies. I was all caught up. So I had to go see this in the theater. Had to. It was it was the finale, basically, of the movies. Of the franchise, I should say, actually. So I had to go see it because of that. So... Oh my gosh, man. Tears, cheers, screams, and yelling all throughout the movie. All throughout this whole movie. And it's a good feeling. 
it's a really good feeling. So, but here we got the cover, which looks really cool. This is the slip cover for the movie. Look at that. Look at that. As this this franchise has like one of the best looking uh slips I've ever seen. So I'm glad I picked it up. So um it has aged a little bit. I mean I had this since twenty uh this came out in twenty eleven. Like later on in twenty eleven. Let me see. Um Have a look. Oh, it's not telling me. But I'm just gonna say that when I picked up this movie on Blu-ray at uh, Walmart, I got my, I got this at Walmart when it first came out. So I had it since. So it's got some like wear and uh kind of like damage to it but it's fine it still works you know as long as it still plays that's what counts so and i have a good time with it so yeah there you go all right now the last one of brothers film i have and i don't have the other two films to go with this sadly but when if i like i said if i do see it if i do see these movies in like the stores i will most definitely pick them up so i have to basically do this okay come on come on there you go okay there you go Whew. okay and it fall on me this is the Walmart exclusive blu-ray for the Fantastic Beast Secrets of Dumbledore uh, this is the third movie in the Fantastic Beasts set. Um, I got this at Walmart because you see the sticker. Uh, right there. Only at Walmart. Right there. And it's a cool set, you know? It's a really cool set. Really cool. Um, it comes to you like this. Basically, you open it like this. You open it like this. Okay. <laughs> And would you look at that? I'll pick that shit up later. Uh, okay. <laughs> you open it like this, like a briefcase, and you get the movie. Now, what's cool about this set is, look at it. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna show all this on the camera, but there's the top, and then on the sides you get like little tickets and all that other good shit, and it just shut. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's the movie. Here's the movie. Now, I like the cover. It's nice and colorful. 